Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really fun video. These are so much fun for me to film. Don't judge me guys, cause Alta sent me a coupon. And of course I had to do some damage. Now this box definitely is deceptive looking because it is full of some of these bigger items I picked up. So if you're curious to see what I picked up from Alta, just keep watching. Okay, so I haven't even opened this box yet. I thought this package was coming tomorrow, but lo and behold, here it is. So let's crack into this box. Now, if you guys are, I think, do you have to be a platinum member to get this coupon? I don't know, but every once every three months, I believe Alta does 20% off for their, you know, loyalty members. So if you guys aren't signed up for their rewards program, it's free to join. I really don't know why anybody wouldn't sign up for their rewards program because you actually earn points on your purchases and then you actually get money back to spend on Ulta goodies. So I think it's fantastic. If you haven't checked it out yet, you definitely should. Now, the first things I picked up, actually I picked up two hair tools, so let's get those out of the way. Now, I did show like a shopping haul, but I didn't include this, but this is one of my favorite purchases from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. It came in this giant box because it was like a, a value set. So this is a $227 value for $154, and it's called Trust to Impress Smooth Straighten Shine. And this is by the brand Dry Bar. Now, Dry Bar makes my favorite dry shampoo. I don't have it up here right now, but they do make my favorite dry shampoo, and I was really interested in trying out some of their hair tools. Now, Nordstrom did have a variety of different hair tools on sale during their anniversary sale, and I was trying to figure out which one. So, of course, I turned to YouTube, and I found an awesome video with this girl that had crazy uh, curly hair and she actually used this straightener and her hair looked amazing and so I was like you know what I will try it out because Nordstrom has a great return policy if I don't like the straightener I'll definitely send it back so I had this for about two to three weeks now and I'm really enjoying it my last few videos if you've seen my hair it's been really straight and I've been using this straightener and I think it does a fabulous job. I have a lot of hair, I'm of Asian heritage, so I have really thick, long, dark hair currently and I think this does a fantastic job. My friend, she went to hair school and she always makes fun of me and says I never take my time doing my hair. So she thinks I'm a little full of shit with this because she Notice that I do like sections, like I actually section my hair now when I straighten. Um, so I am going to compare this to my current hair tool or my old hair tool that I had before this to see if I section it, if it'll actually make a difference in how that one works compared to this one. Because before I got this, I would just take clumps of hair and like straighten, you know? And that's not how you're supposed to straighten your hair. That's like the lazy girl version of straightening hair. So anyway, I've had amazing luck with this hair tool. So I I of course decided to invest in more dry bar products. Now really quick too, in that kit I got two hair clips and then the triple set three in one texturize, amplify and refresh hair product. And also the sparkling soda shine mist. And this is what they look like. I'm so bad because I really don't have a lot of hair products. So I really need to get my hair game up. I feel like I'm so savvy when it comes to makeup, but when it comes to hair, it's a totally different ball game. I hate doing my hair. But this dry bar straightener has really, you know, kind of changed the game for me. So if you guys are interested in a review of that product, let me know. And then this is the, it's called The Chaser. This is a shine cream. And I'm so excited to try all these products I haven't yet. Anyway, that was the long version of the story. But because I've had such good luck with the straightener, I decided to also, you know, take advantage of the 20% off coupon and pick up the dry bar 3-day bender curling iron. I'm so excited for this because... The barrel actually twists so you don't have to wrap it around your hair. The barrel head actually turns so it just looked really cool in the demos I saw. So of course I wanted to pick that up 
And then, to make things even more exciting, I decided, you know, I might as well just get all of the dry bar products. So I also picked up the Buttercup, which is their ultimate blow drying tool. My hair is getting longer now. It's definitely longer than it's ever been before. And I just thought that it would be a good idea for me to invest in some really good hair tools because I want to try and grow up my hair. My dream is to have like Kardashian length hair. I know I can do it because I have really healthy hair. But I just thought having some good tools will help me style my hair in the future and stuff like that. So I'm so excited to try the Buttercup blow dryer and in the summertime. I've just been air drying my hair, but I think in the winter, I'm really going to get some good use out of that tool. And I'm not very good at curling my hair, but I love how it looks when it's curled. So I'm definitely excited to try this out. And I know I can probably curl with the straightener. And I actually did try it the other day and it did look pretty good but I didn't do my whole head of hair so we'll see I'm gonna try those three tools they're definitely an investment I think between all those three pieces it's about $500 worth of hair tools but I've had such good luck with the straightener that I wanted to try some of the other stuff out so I will come back if you guys are interested and give you my thoughts on the dry bar hair tools as soon as I have some ideas on what I think about them okay and I totally forgot I've picked up one more thing from the dry bar it is the lemon drop hairbrush this is the super lemon drop with long-lasting bristles and it's a daily detangler this brush was 16 bucks, but I thought I would invest in it. Like I said, my hair is probably the longest it's ever been, and sometimes I definitely notice more tangled. I've just had such great luck with the dry bar brand that I thought I would also grab this. I mean, after you spend all that money on hair tools, a $16 brush is really not going to send me over the edge. So I decided to go with the total investment package with that one. Yeah, that is everything I got from dry bar. After I decided to, you know, blow my budget on that, everything else. Else. It's pretty minimal. There wasn't really a lot of new things that I wanted to try on Ulta, but I did pick up these because I did see these and I've been eyeing them for a while. These are the Earth Therapeutics Tea Tree Oil Soft Heel Gel Patches, and these are to moisturize, soften, and protect dry and cracked heels. Now, I always tell you guys about my dry heels and my dry feet, and so I just thought these were a cool looking idea. Um, they were buy one get one half off so I was like whatever I'll just splurge and get two and so I will definitely keep you guys posted on what my thoughts are with that product and then I also picked up what else did I get I got some samples and then I picked up a new Mac paint pot I've been using the paint pot in soft ochre forever and that seems like a very popular one on youtube everybody talks about soft ochre and painterly i think is a popular one so i thought i would try something else and see if i could find something that was more suited for my skin tone so i decided to pick up groundwork and i like this shade because it's a more brown shade and these are typically the colors i put on my eyes so i'm interested to use this as a base and see if it does anything different because i feel like soft ochre is a universal shade and I was just curious to see if there was something that worked better with tan skin just because a lot of the lighter skin tone beauty gurus are always using soft ochre but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best paint pot for my skin tone so I will keep you guys updated on that and then I just got a little MAC false lashes extreme black sample and then the last thing I got from Ulta is this Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. And this is their new primer. So I'm really, really interested to try this. It says it's packed with blur technology. Universal Skin Smoothing Primer creates the ultimate canvas for all day velvety smooth makeup wear. So I'm really excited to test this out. I have tried all of the Becca primers so far. I have the, the one that makes your skin sparkle. I can't remember what that one's called. I have that one. I tried the purple one wasn't a huge fan of it I didn't think it was making that much of a difference on me and then they came out with this one very recently so I thought I would definitely try this out and keep you guys posted um, this says shake well and it has the soft touch packaging which is a little different for Becca I'm very excited I will keep you guys posted I'll probably try that out tomorrow and then I was able to get a sample of the ever matte poreless priming perfecter 
as well. So let's see here. I'm really excited for this primer. Actually, I lied. I haven't tried all the Becca primers because I haven't tried this one. And I heard this one is amazing for oily skin. Now, I don't actually have oily skin, but I do love matte skin. So I am so, so pumped to have a little sample size of this so I can try it out on my face. Okay, guys. So now that I showed you everything from Ulta, I thought I would quickly throw in some new things that I picked up from ColourPop. I literally can't stop buying shit from ColourPop. They keep coming out with new things constantly. I think I'm finally caught up. I did see that they are coming out with brow products, which is pretty exciting, but I don't really need any new brow stuff, so I think I'm just going to hold off. So I did pick up, they did restock their finishing sprays or their crystal priming sprays and they I think they did setting sprays they did like a couple of different ones they actually did four of them so I did pick these up and I don't want to put them in their own video so I just wanted to show you guys they are constantly expanding their line and I personally love it I think ColourPop is an amazing brand all their stuff is so affordable these were six dollars a piece so I was at like $24 so I had to add two eyeshadows to hit their $30 shipping minimum which I still think is so affordable so I picked up aquamarine which is a crystal setting spray rose quartz which is a crystal priming spray aventurine which is a setting spray and then amethyst which is a priming spray again and it's really cool here on the back it kind of talks about each of these and I don't really want to go into super detail so I'll just show you one of them so this is rose quartz which is the priming spray it contains real rose quartz apple extract for intense hydration grapefruit extract olive oil olive oil which is a derivative for a dewy finish directions of you shake me up gently hold at an arm length away from your beautiful face and spray 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 don't spray directly into eyes and mouth this is cruelty free and made in the USA so I love this packaging it's so cute and these look like pretty sizable bottles and they are glass I believe it sounds like glass I think this is a great price so let's shake it up let's see should I try it oh it's a priming spray so I'm not gonna try this on my makeup because it's already done but you guys know I love ColourPop I have a bunch of ColourPop hauls in my channel if you're interested definitely check those out and then like I said to hit my shipping minimum I had to invest in two eyeshadows and these eyeshadows are great. They are $5 a piece, but they've been on sale for a long time, so you can actually score them for $4. So I got a shade I've wanted for a while. This is the shade Tiki. And I don't know, I'm just attracted to these canary yellowish shades. And this is a little bit of a newer color from them, so I decided to pick it up. It's pretty buttery smooth, and that is what it looks like. I really don't think I need a yellow because I have the ColourPop Yes Please palette, and there's a yellow in there but I was panicking. I should have really just gotten one of their nail polishes. I have one of their nail polishes, the one that's like a dual chrome, but I should have just gotten like a nail polish shade, but I was panicking. So I got two eyeshadows instead. And then this is the shade Crisscross, which is another beautiful brownie shade. These are like my favorite thing ever to put in the crease and they're so pigmented and blend so well. I didn't like ColourPop eyeshadows when they first came out. I thought they were really bad, but now I'm like obsessed with them. So if you are looking to customize an eyeshadow palette and not spend a ton of money, I would totally recommend checking out ColourPop because they have so many different shades, everything you can imagine, and they always have a really good deal for you guys. So. Okay guys, that is everything I picked up from Ulta and ColourPop. Let me know what your favorite products in this haul was. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to help you with any questions that you might have. I usually upload every other day, so you do get content from me pretty often, and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I will also be doing some giveaways soon, so definitely don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.